for Cunningham. Here, here. Thank you, Acting Speaker. And it's a um, very uh, important matter before us, and I appreciate the member for Wakefield bringing it before the House, although here, it's here. not the first time I've had the opportunity to talk to the House about the steel industry. Myself and the member for Throsby, uh, like many of our colleagues in South Australia, have been through some significantly difficult times uh, with the steel industry. Indeed, in um, 2010 at um, Blue Scope, we had a significant restructure of the uh, sector there that ended up with, a, a, if you include those down the supply chains, over a thousand jobs lost. At that point in time, there was a really important, direct and immediate intervention by the then Gillard government. In fact, the Prime Minister visited the region twice. Um, there was a response in terms of support for the steel industry, the steel transformation plan, as others have referred to. There was support for our region, um, a joint investment in uh, diversifying the economy of $30 million contributed by the federal government, the state government and Blue Scope themselves, uh, and a package of support for the dislocated workers. So it was a time at which the region saw what a good and effective federal government actually does for a region going through tough times such as this. Let's play that forward to the end of last year, when Blue Scope again announced, as an impact uh, of the international circumstances, that they needed to take some fairly difficult decisions again. And we were looking at more workers being retrenched from the plant. In fact, realistically, as Blue Scope was clear, we were looking at the potential of the plant shutting down. So who stepped up? Who stepped up at the end of last year for the steel industry and for the Illawarra region? Well, first of all, the trade union movement and the workers stepped up, and we had an unprecedented outcome where there was a negotiated agreement um, that actually meant for all of those workers that they ended up uh, with less money, less conditions, but their commitment was demonstrated very clearly to keep those jobs uh, operating in our region. They stepped up. The state government sort of stepped up with a bit of uh, tax relief, deferred tax payments um, to assist Blue Scope. And we had a really significant roundtable. All the local players came together, the business chambers, the unions, the local members, community organisations, the local government mayors and so forth, called together to a peak roundtable uh, convened by Minister McFarlane at the time to talk about what needed to happen in the region, firstly to support the steel industry and secondly to allow diversification of the local economy. And what was the outcome of that? Well, Minister McFarlane stood outside and did his press conference afterwards um, with the, his uh, coalition colleagues and he said that there'd be a nice big announcement for the region. That got us excited, something um, big that was gonna make a real difference to the local region. We've not heard sight the sound of that since that announcement, very quickly walked away from. What then happened uh, as we went through this process, of course, was there was a change of minister. And Minister Pine became the local uh, the minister for uh, the sector. And so what Minister Pine did was thought he needed to hear all this again. So he called all the same players uh, together. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to Wollongong. We all had to traipse up to Sydney. Up we went, laid out all our case again, hoping for some outcome, and there was absolutely nothing. This government has not made a clear, announced policy and plan for the steel industry. The member for Grey, I don't envy him his position. It is a tough policy area. We all understand that. We've been through it for many years now. But you actually need to have a commitment to industry policy, and you have to have a clearly articulated policy for the steel sector. It is a strategically important sector and it is also significantly important to the regions where it operates. We have not seen that from the government. We have seen sound bites and half announcements, but there is no coordinated strategic approach. By comparison, Bill Shorten and Kim Carr attended the Blue Scope site with myself and the member for Throsby and our candidate for Gilmore, Fiona Phillips, yeah, yeah. and announced a plan, a full plan, of six significant initiatives to give a future to our steel industry. That's what's required. That's what we need. Not a minister who thinks the Port Kembla Steel Works is in Gilmore 
or a minister who thinks that he can make a simple announcement and get away with it. It is Order. simply the not enough. The member's time has expired.